more purple banditos, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made it here to the entrance of the Frost Cavern, and in today's episode, we're finally gonna head inside and see what awaits us. I hear the Yeti or the Loch Ness monster or something's gonna be hiding, hiding inside of here. That's gonna be creepy, and I'm kind of excited though. It's fun getting to do ice caverns. Uh, if you heard the music outside too, I don't know why, but it reminds me a little bit of Twilight Princess. If you played through that, um, it just kind of remind me of it. And it seems like, you know, fitting that the music right before we hit up an ice cavern would be that of a Zelda game. Something about ice caverns and Zelda games. You know, ice puzzles, once in a while they give me a lot of trouble. And by a lot of trouble, I mean I get stuck. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me today. Hoping it goes relatively well. Um, but we'll find out. Right now I'm kind of just uh, looping around and just seeing where this is going to take me. Uh, Okay, I think I'm doing something right here. Yes, look at me. I'm actually not that bad at ice puzzles. Um, I say a lot of things about it, but honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not too shabby at them. We can go diagonally? What the mother? I didn't know that. Um, okay, did not know we could go diagonally. Kind of freaking cool. I might have to keep that in mind now. I, I didn't realize that. I'm gonna go down here and... No! No, I'm not trying to go... Wait, maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm trying to go diagonally. I, I could go diagonally if, the, if this works. I, I could. Yeah, look at that. All right, not bad. We figured that one out. Now let's see if we can figure this one out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what's up, Karate Kid? Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Am I gonna have to battle these Karate Masters? Uh, the Karate Masters as- Ah, oh, mother fudge. All right, let's go ahead and take on this little girl with the creepy eyes. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. We got this. We have Fire-type Pokemon all over. Our starter's a Fire-type. We will be- Completely fine, we'll be good, so I say, and a fighting type comes out. Hey, at least we have a flying type going up against a fighting type, so I guess we're doing something right having Saltar out. Let's go for the fly, guys. Let's see what's going on. Hope you guys are enjoying your, your day. I'm having a lovely day so far, just kind of relaxing, enjoying life. You know, I got a little more time than I thought. It's just, it's, you know, it's cool. It's all good. Um, what the fudge? That did a lot. Wow, that did a lot of damage to us. I'm just gonna go for the fly, and I'm gonna chill up there so he doesn't knock us out. Cause I kinda don't want Saltar to be knocked out here. Uh, I kinda just wanna, you know, knock this thing out and uh, move on here. All right, there we go, this thing is done. See you later, Sock. You came, you Sock, you seen, and you are gone. All right, is, it, is there any other Pokemon coming out? Hey, Smart, screw some levels. I'll take it, I'll take it. Ooh, Dragon Claw. Yeah, we'll definitely learn Dragon Claw. Um, I'm gonna definitely, let me see, hang on. I think Dragon Claw is stronger than Dragon Tail for sure. There we go. All right, we'll forget Dragon Tail. And we learned ourselves Dragon Claw. So there we go, Smarms. Finally learning Dragon moves, uh, which should come in handy very soon. Me and Xiao, I'm gonna just keep out Saltar. I think a fly here and there should pretty much be able to take down these Pokemon. Um, and if not, I'll go ahead and switch out. We'll bring someone else out. Um, I don't think it'll be too much trouble. I'm actually a little bit nervous going into this cave uh, because I don't know what to expect. Uh, I really have no idea what's coming at the end of it. Maybe there's like a pack of Mamo Swines chilling at the end just waiting to punch you in the face. If, that, if that's what's coming, oh gosh, I, I really hope that's not what's coming. Uh, if there's a bunch of Mamo Swines and we're about to get attacked by them, that's gonna, that's gonna freak me out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know about you, but if you ever see a pack of Mamo Swines, you run the other way. You don't stick around for that. Uh, alright, let's go... What the heck? Where am I supposed to be going here? Um, okay. I think I know what I'm doing. I think, I, I always say that, but I, I actually mean it this time. And, uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, crap. I missed an item. Oh, well. Don't think it'll be anything too crazy. Um, what's coming up here? Hmm. Have we been through here before? I almost feel like we have. Um, I don't know. Maybe we haven't. Let me, let me run up this one. I think we're headed... I don't know where we're headed. We're going up, we're going down, we're going loop de doop de around, and, and it's taking us places. Okay, we've made it to another ice puzzly area. Um, okay, don't want to battle him, and... Oh, yes, here we go! It's really cold in here, isn't it, Rodri? Is there something going on up ahead? <coughs> this above us now is a fine specimen. It's absolutely brimming with energy. The more we agitate it, the stronger its snow warning ability becomes, making the snow fall even more furiously. Let's catch it swiftly and get out of here. Hey! Hey, you Pokeball thieves, what are you doing here? What does it look like? We're catching Pokemon, 
And where else would we have grabbed all those Pokemons? If it was also we could watch quote unquote Pokemon like this Obama soon now. It's full of potent energy. Energy? You're not the brightest one, are you? Whoever has the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be headed to them don't get to have these resources. But why is Team Flare massing Pokemon energy and money? To put it any other way, why is Team Flare always trying to take everything for itself? Allow me to spin it out for you. And so Team Flare and only Team Flare can survive. After all, why should we care about saving people who aren't on our side? Anyway, I don't mind a healthy curiosity, but I'm afraid I just don't have any time for you. Rodri, did they say only Team Flare will survive? These people have a screw, a few screws loose. You two, hurry up and send these kids packing. All right, guys. So it looks like we're gonna be taking on uh, some Team Flare. You know what? They're showing off their clothes. I'm gonna show off my purple clothes. I just, I'm a little proud of them. You know, they, uh, I thought they looked kind of good. I don't know. You tell me. Do you enjoy the purple clothes? Uh, you know, I think they look kind of fresh. Still trying to complete the rest of the outfit, um, but I'm enjoying what I'm seeing right now. You know. All right, let's bring out Fox. Give me a psychic type out here. These guys are just gonna be full of poison types, and there's no way I'm dealing with it. Poison types. Probably my least favorite type in this game. Now you guys know I'm big on dragon and fire, but poison? Probably my least favorite. Um, let me think. Yeah, I think that I think that might be it. I just something about poison types. Never really been a, too big of a fan. Um, I don't know what it is. I have used poison types on my teams before, but just I don't know. I, I guess I don't like battling them would be the thing. I guess I like them, I just don't like battling against them. Okay, we took it down. Who's coming out next? Let me see what you got. Let's get the Combinations going, the the combinations. Let's see. Seriously, we're taking damage like no tomorrow. Manectric, perfect. We have a fire type out. I feel like Fox. Oh crap, it's an electric type. Never. Oh wait, we're good. Wait, what? Okay, I thought for a second I thought it was gonna be a steel electric. I don't know. But I was gonna say it's kind of nice um, to have Fox. Fox is pretty deadly um, against Team Plasma, from what I've noticed. It has like the perfect combo. You know, fire type, psychic, it kind of works pretty awesome. If you're going to be taking on Team Flare, uh, it's going to work really well for you to have a box. You know what I'm saying? All right, we gained some XP and finally gained a level. Felt like that one took a while. Did we defeat them? Yes. Please tell me we defeated them. Uh, Snorri wants to learn rollout. Really, my man? Ah, man. All right, I'll forget you on. No. Ah, oh, man. Roll out, dang it, I'll forget Body Slam for it, screw it. Roll out might be good, I don't know, it's not like we're gonna use Snorri for much longer. There we go, Snorri learned Roll Out. We defeated the Team Flare Grunt, see you later. Hope you enjoyed your time here in the joint. Uh, man, that sure is awesome. We gained some money. I may have lost, I may have lost, but isn't this Winter Wonderland beautiful? Almost as beautiful as the Team Flare pose. All right, so we defeated her. Does that mean we get to take on Obama Snow? I mean, uh, uh, Obama Snow, whatever. The, oh, we're going to call it Obama Snow just because it sounds funny. All right. Snow! Nope, that was it? Really? Wait, I wonder how much energy is inside of you. Oh, snap. Here we go, guys. Didn't realize we were challenged by Team Flare Mabel, um, and we have ourselves another battle in our hands. Wow. Okay, did not expect this to happen. She's going to send out Houndoom. I, I used to have a hound room once. And let's go for the fly. Yeah, let's go for the fly. Fire type is, you know, fire on fire, so I can do a whole lot. Did not realize we have to take on this lady, too. Um, but of course, Team Flare would be behind the Mambo Swines flipping out and all this stuff that's going on. And, and who knows all this crazy shenanigans that's going on here with Team Flare. And I, wow, this thing's level 48. We did that much damage to it? Okay, cool. There we go. So I'll to down a level 48 Pokemon. I almost feel a little underleveled now. I'm starting to think we should probably train up our Pokemon. Oh, Aura Sphere. Heck yeah, we want Aura Sphere. Um, me first. Definitely going to forget that. Screw that. That thing is not going to do uh, very much. I'd much rather have Aura Sphere. And there we go, guys. We all learned Aura Sphere. We defeated Team Flare. Mabel. Not just strong. Too strong. Not ordinary in team. We got... 67.20 for winning! Hmm, I'm no patient for losing! Let's get out of here! Doesn't battling with Team Flare scare you, Rodri? I'll admit it scares me. I don't like battling them, but we managed to protect a, a, a Boma Snow by pitching in there. I know I'm the reserve type, and I'm okay with that, but it's important to be bold when necessary. Memo Swine doesn't have to worry about a Boma Snow anymore, and that's what matters. I can't say that name. 
All's well that ends well. Try saying Aboma Snow ten times fast. Aboma Snow, 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 Really hard to say. Oh, what's this? It looks like Obama Snow wants to give you something. We obtained an uh, Obama site. Wait, does Obama Snow have a freaking mega evolution? How do I catch you? How do I catch you? You have a mega evolution, my man? All right. Oh well, I guess it doesn't. Who knows? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, where where are my escape ropes? I know I bought a few of those bad boys. All right, let's go ahead and use it. And get the heck out of here because it seems like we finally took care of everything we had to. Here at this cave, Whew, what a what a busy day it has been um, in that cavern. Maybe that means that now the memo swines will be good and uh, we'll be able to make our way out. That would be lovely if the memo swines would be ready to cooperate with us and maybe we could even make it to the next town which we're trying to. I would love that. Let's go check out the spot where the memo swines was. I'm thinking we'll finally be able to make our way out of here. Um, and proceed on through this route. I went the com I'm so lost. I get so lost in towns. It's just so much more difficult for me in 3D. Something about not seeing 2D is tripping me out, and I, I don't even know. The game's beautiful, but it trips me out because I'm so used to having um, a 2D game. All right, we made it here, um, and it seems like... Oh, yeah, let's use a repel. Why not? Um, this guy's over here with the memo swine. Let's do it, my man. How do I ride you? How Let me talk to this guy. Ahoy there, trainer. Shortly after you head off to the Frost Cavern, Lemos one came back. Did something happen over there? Ah, uh, sweet. So, um, can I ride your Aboma uh, Snow Memo Slime, my man? All right. It says the snow is deep, but we can ride him. So we're gonna ride him, and um, here's hoping that we make it to the next town without too much trouble. Can you stop talking to me, dude? I'm just trying to hop on this guy. All right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is really flipping slow. Holy crap, you are a very slow, you are slower than a ride horn, my man. Dang, this guy is actually absolutely really, really slow. All right, so it's basically a ride horn, um, from what I can tell from the controls, but slower and, I, I, and covered in snow. I don't know, it's kind of cool though. I like the fact that you can ride Pokemon. When I was a kid, one of my biggest dreams was to own a Lugia and ride it around. And I'm not talking about Pokemon, I'm talking about in real life. I don't know why that was just my dream. I always wanted a freaking Lugia to ride around in real life. I mean, tell me, tell me that wouldn't be cool. I mean, I, I thought it was really flipping cool if you could ride around with a Lugia. Like, I would hop on its back, we would be friends, and it would love me, and we would fly everywhere, and I could fly to Europe and El Salvador and wherever I wanted to at any time of the day and it would be it would be more than happy to take me because we would be great friends and man that sounds like a very sad story I have friends I I have friends guys it's not a, it's, I have a few friends and what am I doing is this it where are you going man most line all right I'm guessing there's something else. I don't want to wonder trade what the heck is that I'm trying to, I'm trying to make my way through this town what the mother I'm not trying to wonder trade okay now this is the right way. I'm guessing. Um, it seems like I'm heading in the correct direction. I don't even know if Pokemon are going to pop out at us. Or trainers. If there's a creepy trainer hiding in this, I'm done. Like, if there's a creepy little sick trainer who's going to be hiding in the snow, trying to freak out kids, I'm just, I'm done. That, that's when I walk out of this game. That's when I put it down and I'm like, nope. You know, this ain't happening. This ain't happening to me. I'm not about to deal with the creepy kids hiding in the Obama snow. Okay. I think we're coming up on the town. See you later, Mammo Slime. Thanks for your help, buddy. Really appreciate it. You're a sweetheart. You're lovely. You're a nice guy. And we're getting a hollow clip. Rodri, this time I challenge you to a battle in front of Alista City's gym. Prepare yourself. Ooh, we've been challenged to a battle. Oh, well, I'm kind of excited because it seems like we have made it to the next gym. And we also have a battle awaiting us. You know, I kind of want to go for the battle, honestly. Uh, why not? We can probably beat her butt. You there. I can't replace the next year, but tell you something. There's a person here in Astro City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Ooh, all right. I guess there's a lot going on here. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. Put them to good use. We obtained some repeat balls. Never heard of them, but I'll take them. I mean, there might be something worth looking into. Who knows? All right. So, guys, we have made it here to Anister City, and it looks like next time we're gonna be taking on our rival and maybe doing a couple more things. 
So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.